Hey, good top of the morning to you whosoever. Today is the 21st day of October 2019. God bless you. Today's morning message is entitled, God is present during every crisis. Um, have you ever been in a crisis and you think, oh Lord, where are you? Well, he's there. What crisis are you fighting now? Unemployment, serious health problems, breakups of your marriage, rebellion, teenage children, rejection of those you once loved and once loved you uh, again what are you going through uh, pain are you going through um how, how how are you going to handle these problems i mean really how are you going to handle these problems um you could pay thousands hundreds of dollars an hour to go have some some psychiatrist help you or some counselor help you know give you the right words but do you know god's word is the best counselor that's why he's called the you know mighty counselor mighty god also the bible says uh you know are you kind of loony are you losing it well trust the lord the book of isaiah chapter 43 verse 1 through 3 says this here's a precious promise uh, from the bible but if you knew the bible you would know this promise it says the lord who created you says do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters or great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers of difficulty, you will not be drowned. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel. And everybody said, Amen. You know, guys, one of the most basic crises if each one of us faces is understanding God's will in our lives, um, our own death. Uh, for many people, even Christians, the terror of leaving this world is very, very, very real. One of uh, the Bible says again uh, concerning um, the end. You know, it, it is destined to man to die, and then comes the judgment. Um, are you going to? Uh, the question is, you know, if you're going to die, we're all going to die. Don't you want to get saved or have a relationship with the Lord? So when the time does come, you're ready, right? Um, are you going to feel panicked? Are you going to go go to the supernatural to find out what's on the other side? You know, are you going to pay a curandera money? I've seen that people where they can't figure out what's going on with this person, so they go go to they go to a witch doctor. I call them witch doctor, curanderas, you know. And I'm just like, don't do that, you know. I, I read the Bible. Um, you, uh, I think you make things worse. Um, I, again, w what are you gonna do when you're in the hospital bed? And the, but then the Lord says, I am with you. Either way, I am close to you. You know, with this promise ringing in our in our ears, uh, we our future is in God's hands. Though our eyelids barely cracked, uh, uh, we saw uh, again concerning. There's another promise in Psalm 23:4, which says this: Even when I walk through the dark valley, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for Thy rod and Thy staff comfort me. I encourage you to memorize and meditate on this psalm when you're going through it. You know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You know, do you know God is with you when you witness for him? What do you mean? You know, Jesus promises, says, be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. This was given as part of the Great Commission. Uh, the challenge is to go into the entire world and preach the gospel and disciple those who come to faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, Again, also the Bible says it is when we are fulfilling that great commission that Jesus promises to be with us, uh, and that very, very much becomes precious. We have been given us the challenge to reach every person on earth with God's message of love and forgiveness, yet he did not leave us alone to accomplish this impossible task. He sent us his Holy Spirit who empowers us to do what is humanly impossible, but possible with God. You know, I've ministered to some people and was like, there is no way this person is going to receive the Lord. And Pastor Noli from a Grace Temple Church, when I got saved, um, he, he, he told me straight up when we were walking outside of service, Pastor Noli, 
Grace Temple Church. He says, Tony, if there was anybody in this world who I thought would never get saved, it was you. I was, pre I was pretty bad. I mean, that's that's the straight out truth. You know, you know I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I was pretty bad. Um, again, I take great comfort uh, that the God is with us in our time of trials. You know, God is present and working during our ministries. Or, or uh, you know, that's why one of the reasons why I, I I encourage people to to have these messages is because who knows? Maybe you're not going through it today, but maybe you will, and God will use this message to encourage you. You know, we gotta give our we gotta give our faith and our uh, testimony to our neighbor. We have to understand that God is with us. When we witness to our co-workers, even though they're atheists, God is with you. You know, God will bring forth fruit and help us be faithful to him, introducing others to Jesus Christ as Savior. Um, sometimes you're just faithful, just encourage somebody to uh, invite them to church. Um, you just got to do what you have to do in, in time of needs. Remember, guys, nothing, nothing we do is hidden from God. Great, great encouragement. Jesus promised that our Heavenly Father says, He who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Just about, just think about that. When we privately do something good that no one else knows about, God still sees and rewards us accordingly. When the Sunday school teacher labors teaching preschoolers about God's love, she may not receive many affirmations from others, yet the Lord sees every smile and hug she gives them. When the godly pastor spends hours in his office in heartfelt prayer for people who, who by the way, he might dislike, or even those people who try to thwart his ministry, or to, you know, or those who are apathetic at church, um, God sees his deep concern for the bedridden elderly man who adopts a prayer ministry in behalf of his loved ones, his neighbors, his friends, his cousins. For the godly parent who prays hours in the night for his prodigal child, you know, my, uh, you know, your child has gone off. You, know, you pray for that person that God will restore him, you know, back to, uh, back to, you know, the enemy wants to put our children in bondage to, to drugs. Um, again, you, you have to understand that I'm, I'm talking about meth and heroin and cocaine and th those are you know you just got to be loving your family you got to be in interceding for your kids you know i intercede for my son all the time you know i intercede for him all the time i don't know what the outcome is i i try i take him to church when he was a kid as much as i could and you know now he's in college you know how those college years are right you know how about the you know, God knows about the businessman betrayed by his business partner who does not take revenge but responds in forgiveness and love. To those faithful servants are in our present, God says, love your enemies, do good to them, to lead, and leave them without expecting them to get anything back. Then your reward will be great in heaven. On the other hand, God also sees the wrong things we commit in secret. We only fool ourselves by thinking no one will ever know. Scripture says nothing... Nothing in all creation can hide from him. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes. This is the God to whom we must explain that everything we've done. There is no place we can hide when we do wrong. God sees uh, and besides us, as believers, we may break our fellowship with God when we sin. But he does not leave our presence. He is still dwelling within us, convicting us, helping us do what is right through the loving discipline and waiting and repentance of his wrongdoing. Some people see God as a great traffic cop in the sky watching their every move. I like to think I like to think that he loves us so much that he cannot keep our eyes off of me. I am the apple of his eye. Thank you, Father, for watching over us. You know, we have to, as believers, live, live uh, in his presence daily. God's omnipresence enables us to be in constant communion with him, to depend on him in every situation. But at times we ignore it, you know, oh Lord, oh Lord, what do, we, what, what do we do, you know? We get preoccupied with life, focused on material concerns, food, clothing, shelter, finances, and jobs. Sometimes we even forget that he is with us while we are busy serving him. Uh, again, we have to understand that the most holy and necessary practice in the spiritual life of a believer is to find a time 
of constant relationship with the Lord. You know, don't, don't again, don't allow the, the things of this life to move us where uh, we are out of fellowship and out of God's, you know, sometimes we go to, through depression, right? Sometimes we go through discouragement. Sometimes we go through um, valleys. We're, we're all discouraged. But at the same time, you have to trust the Lord no matter what. Death in the family. Um, uh, betrayals. Um, there's a lot of things that, that might throw us a curveball in life. But you got to just stay focused. And, and, you know, like Pastor Dylan always says, rely on what you don't, what you do know. When you're going through the trials of life you know god is faithful god is love god has great plans for you you know god um wants to uh, do a good, good work in your life you know now, i i don't know how this situation is going to work out you know whatever if it's even good or bad you know but we we rely on what we do know and we know that god has a plan for us he'll never leave us he'll never forsake us he has a great future for you. Even if you get, never get married or you never have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or, or you remain single for the rest of your life, um, God still has a great plan for you. A new body, uh, a, a, new, a new heaven, a new earth. Sometimes God doesn't give you that, that partner you desire because uh, he's, he's, he's saving you from uh, much harm. You know, um, unless the Lord builds that relationship you have to be careful because what ends up happening it could be the worst thing for you you know i've seen many people during a bad relationship you know they, they would go back to drugs you know they go back to drinking they get so depressed depression is real you know they get so depressed where you know they'll start try, trying to drown their sorrows in alcohol but i always tell people um your sorrows know how to swim so uh, you should rely on the Lord. You know, we're all guilty, guys. We're all guilty of, of medicating our pain somehow. Sometimes some of us do it with food. But again, during those times of uh, tribulation and, tr and trials, you know, and crises in life, we can trust the Lord that He is ever present uh, with us, guiding us, protecting us, encouraging us, loving us, um, chasing us. Uh, uh, so that we may bear fruit in due time. So again, love you guys. May the Lord bless you. Be girded, be strengthened. The Lord is coming. He's coming quickly. Be about the Father's business. Amen.